Hey guys, it's Janice. Welcome back to my channel. Today is Tuesday and this is my pull list for January 13th. Last week I missed a comic that was coming out because it just never showed up on the website that I used to find out what I'm picking up and that was Bitch Planet number six. I did luckily pick it up uh, but I just wanted to add that because I feel bad that I forgot it. Um, so this week I have only one comic book coming out that is a regular that I pick up and then I have a few new ones uh, that I am picking up but I'm pretty interested in like I'm really excited so the first thing that I'm picking up that is a series that I've been picking up for a while is Descender number nine um the description for this issue says Tim 21 Tesla and Quan arrive at the amazing hidden home world of the robot resistance but will this be a haven or a prison for Tim and his companions and what new secrets lie at the center of the machine moon so Tim was taken to a planet Tim 21 was taken to a planet to be destroyed uh and there he met another Tim um, who is part of the robot resistance and he's being taken him and Quan and Tesla who is uh, Quan is who technically quote unquote is given credit for creating um, modern androids in this world and cre including the Tim 21 series or the Tim series um, and then Tesla is the daughter of like the head of the um, main governing system over like the center of the universe like the, their outskirts of like the system which aren't governed by the main system but Tesla I think her father is the president of the main governing system um, and so she was sent to find Tim 21 and you know they were hijacked or whatever um, and now they're being taken to the robot resistance headquarters I'm really interested to see where this is going I want to know if it's a prison or if it's a haven if you know I want to know about the harvesters I, and I know that's obviously the main point like what 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 brought the harvester, harvesters I don't know up to the point that the harvesters came and robots and androids were seen as like dangerous. I don't know how they were treated, but I think they were treated pretty well. So I can't imagine that the robots created the harvesters, like the robots or androids created the harvesters, but I don't really know at this point. Um, the next thing, so that's it that I'm picking up that is something that I normally pick up. The next thing that I'm picking up um, is a, a one shot, just a single issue, and it's called Ikebana by uh, Ikebana. I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, by Yumi Saga, Sagagawa. Uh, it says, this is the creator of I Think I Am In Friend Love With You. The description for this says, um, a powerful exploration of a piece of performance art, Cassie Hamasaki embodies a Japanese flower arrangement and then trailing her confused art class, she silently walks into the city through a public utterly unaware of what she is doing. On the cover, I think like she's naked. I can't really tell. Um, I don't have the cover in front of me, but I'll have it right here. And I think she's like standing in a pot or something. I'm very interested. I love these one shots. Um, I just got the troll by um, Martin Flink, I think, and that was really good. And then I just read um, Prometheus Eternal, which is uh, a bunch of different comics, like short comics about Prometheus or the Prometheus lore. And and that was really interesting. So it's it's awesome to think that there's you know something like thirty pages or under that is so beautiful and so amazing. I'm really excited to see this one, to read this one. It seems very interesting. Um, and then the next thing that I'm picking up is called Spirit Leaves and it is by Rossi Gifford. Um, and it says it's a quarterly de debut. So this is number one. So I guess the next one's not going to come out for three months and so on. So I don't feel too bad about picking up a number one. Um, but it says um, Freya, an albino deer girl training to be a shaman, sets off to the mystical forest to find out what is causing an imbalance. Along the journey, she meets a wolf boy looking for the same entity, and they agree to find it together. Both are determined to pursue this force and prove they are capable on their own. But how do you stop a demon? So it, the cover looks really beautiful. It sounds like a very interesting premise. It's something I'm really interested in picking up. Um, so that's what I'm getting. So that's everything I'm picking up this week. Um, there's another thing that I am interested in, and I'm not going to be picking up the series further until... Well, I haven't picked it up at all, but I will be picking up the trade paperback when that comes out. But that's Huck number three. Uh, Huck is a person who has abilities. The abilities are pretty much unknown as far as the scope of what he can do is. But in the first issue, he a woman accidentally throws away her necklace and he goes to the junkyard and he finds it for her. The junkyard. It's a necklace. So that doesn't seem like much, much, but that's massive. Um, another thing that he that is mentioned that he had done before the first issue is a person was like lost in a lake and he went and found them like when they thought when everybody thought he was like dead um and every single day he does one good deed for the people of his town and they keep his secret because you know they understand 
that it's dangerous for him to have these abilities and for the world to know. Well, the woman that found the, that he found the necklace for, um, she's an out of towner and she, um, I guess realizes that there's potentially money in it for her to reveal the secret. So she lets the world know. Um, I've only read the first issue because Carl picked it up. And so I don't know what happens beyond that, but she lets the world know what he can do. And then apparently news people come. Um, and so the description for this issue says Huck takes his mission across the country, helping those in need while powerful figures in the U S establishment try to use his abilities for their own ends. So like I said, there there hasn't been any scope for his abilities up to this point. So he could be able to, like, do anything, really. I mean, he's just, he has something. And it's not really explained what that something is. So but it's really interesting. Uh, the first issue was so good. I'm really excited to, to pick up the trade paperback and to own that. Um, and I definitely recommend checking it out if you are interested in that kind of stuff, I'll let you guys know when it comes out in trade and when I finally pick that up. Um, but what are you picking up this week? Are you getting any of these same comics as me? Is there other stuff coming out that I might not know about, like Bitch Planet was last week? Um, there, there wasn't anything else that I was really interested in. Um, I don't go for DC and Marvel very often, so I, I went through there, but there wasn't anything that I was interested in. So I guess like this video if you liked it and follow me on Tumblr, Twitter, and Instagram. Um, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.